Bill Gates has written a blog about it. It's called The Age of AI Has Begun. <laughs> Bill, Bill likes to be creepy. I think he's pressing the creepy buttons. He's trolling us on the creepiness at this point. Let me tell you some of his warnings. Super intelligent AIs are in our future. Compared to a computer, our brains operate at a snail's pace. An electrical signal in the brain moves at one one hundred thousandth of a speed of, in the signal of a silicon chip. Once developers can generalize a learning algorithm and run it at the speed of a computer, an accomplishment that could be a decade away or a century away, we will have an incredibly powerful AGI. That means artificial general intelligence. Uh, it's a little bit different than what we're dealing with here. It will be able to do everything that a human brain can, but without any of the practical limits on the size of the memory or the speed at which it operates. This will be a profound change. These strong AIs, as they're known, will probably be able to establish their own goals. They will be able to establish their own <laughs> goals. What will these goals be? What happens if they conflict with humanity's interests? Yeah, what does happen? Should we try to prevent strong AI from ever being developed? These questions will be get more pressing uh, through time. Great, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, what if they just think like, you know, maybe the Earth's resources are not best served by having humans here at all. How are they going to do that? What about when someone puts a, and this is going to happen, someone's going to put a negative intent behind one of these things. They're going to manipulate people out of money. They're going to try to hack bank accounts. They're going to do all sorts of different things. Gates goes on, market forces won't, and this, is, this should keep you, if you're worried about where this might go, this is great from the liberal perspective. Market forces won't naturally produce AI products and services that will help the poorest. The opposite is more likely. With reliable funding, read trillions of dollars, and the right policies, governments and the philanthropy can ensure that AIs are used to reduce inequity. If that doesn't screw with your head and warn you about what might be coming from the government with this stuff, I don't know what will. Bill Gates telling you, well, we just need to use these things to solve inequity. Do we, Bill? 